Dave here from Llama Chat Technology. I'm going to demonstrate a few ways to show a view from a controller. While these aren't the only way to show a view, they are the ones we use most often. This will include showing a view from a simple action, a pop-up window show action, and finally, customizing the view that is shown when clicking on a record in a list view. I'm going to start by creating a controller in my dot module project. In this controller, I'm adding a simple action and subscribing to its execute event. In the event handler, I'll create an object space and use that object space to create a client object. I can choose to customize the client object before I show it in the view. Next. I'll ask the application to create a detail view for the client record. You can specify a specific view if you need to, but in my case, I'll let the application create its default view for me. Now I can assign the view to the action parameters and set the target window and context. You should play with these parameters to see how they behave when showing a view. It's important to note that the WinForms application provides more options than the Blazor applications when showing a view. With my controller in place, I'll run the application and click the Show View action. The detail view for the client will appear in a new modal window. Next, I'll use the pop-up window show action to display a pop-up window with the OK and Cancel actions. To do this, we subscribe to the Customize Pop-Up Window Parameters event. In this event, we do almost the same thing as a simple action, but we just need to assign the e.view property. We're also handling the execute event of this action, which is called when the user clicks the OK button. It does not get called if the user clicks Cancel or closes the window manually. At this point, we can get the client record that was shown and do whatever we want with it. Finally, let's look at how XAF normally shows a view when you double click on a record in a list view. By default, it shows up as a regular detail view. In my case, I'm going to customize this view so it shows up in a pop-up window. To do this, we can get the list view process current object controller and handle its customized show view parameters event. Just like we did in the simple action example, we will set the context and target window. Let's go back to the simple action again and look at one more option for showing a view in a pop-up window. I'm going to comment out the existing show view parameters options and use the show and pop-up window method from the application show view strategy instead. To make it a little more interesting, I'll also show a message when the OK or cancel actions are clicked. <laughs> 